Sup guys, Youth Pastor Alex here, and I have a question for you. Who do you think is the most godly man of all video games? Is it the Doom Slayer? Maybe even Ned Flanders from the Simpsons video games? Or even Comstock from Bioshock Infinite? It's not him. All those are great candidates besides Comstock, but you know who I think is the most godly? I believe it's BJ Blazkowicz, and by the end of this episode, I think I'll have you agreeing with me. Also, spoilers for Wolfenstein 2. The, the new one, not, not the old one. Yeah. William Joseph Blaskovich has had a long and bloody career of killing Nazis since 1981, and while at a glance, he just simply appears to be the greatest evil wiper aware that we all aspire to be. However, underneath that human tank is actually one of the best examples of a godly man in video games. I'm going to point out that yes, he has a potty mouth, and so do I. Hi mom and dad. But it's his actions that make him godly, not his words. So why specifically Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus, you might be asking? And the answer is because of all the additional touches they gave to Terrabilly that really gave him a third dimension. And in fact, it shouldn't be called what it's called. It should be called Wolfenstein 3D2. Aren't you glad I didn't say Electric Boogaloo? Machine Games really doubled down on top of the New Order's plotline, this time introducing his dad in a flashback early on in the story. And anyway, what can I say? He's a stand-up guy. So god damn weak. They're gonna pick on you, they will break you, they will make you eat dirt. No, he is not. Does he get angry because of a bad report card? Or are you getting an offender bitter? No, it's because you're not a racist. And not only that, while your mother sweetly tries to protect you, he deliberately insults her for being Jewish. All right, all right, all right. I totally understand the purpose of the dad. It's to make you hate him, to make you feel more and more for BJ. But the thing is, is that why on God's loving, currently on fire earth, would you have a dad marry someone that he's racist towards? Also, side note, he tries to make you kill your dog. You can miss the dog on purpose. I did that, but I really wanted to kill my dad. This moment does a good job of showing that BJ does not generally just hate the Nazis, but has a personal vendetta against anyone who treats others as lesser beings because of an evil ideology. This is known as righteous indignation, or righteous anger for those who don't know the lore. Billy Boy's upbringing stirred this in him, and it allowed him to not follow in his father's footsteps. But we'll come back to that Durmail later. When talking about righteous anger, many verses still point out that one should always give their anger to God, even with something so evil as the Nazis. God still says that vengeance is his. However, the game's approach to this is more of the story about Jesus overturning the tables in the temple, with just a bit more guns and nukes. And just you wait, the Jesus metaphors don't stop here. The next big segment in the story is how BJ interacts with his wife. There's a moment in the first half of the game where he's considering hiding the fact that he could die at any second, and their interaction is so real and genuine. William? I feel like you've been avoiding me. What's wrong? Talk to me. Look at me, Anya. I'm the damn tin man. How am I gonna get close to you? I don't care. We'll figure something out. We always do. Huh? Hey, why, why won't you at least try? Because I'm fucking dying. The longer we keep pretending it won't happen, the harder it's gonna be. I'll be in the ground a week from now. You don't know that! Oh, do you can see the future now? Don't act like you know things you can't possibly know! Not being there for you. Not rearing up our kids. That's too much to bear. Then don't give up, William. Because I will never, ever give up on you. No matter what. Come with me to the showers. Hmm? We'll take this thing off. I'll clean you up. You smell. I'll take it off. I'm afraid I'll fall apart. Pieces won't fit back together again. I just gotta keep going, for as long as I can. Yo, BJ, you just turned down the hottest girl at prom. That you also happened to already married and knocked up. What I'm saying is that he could have gotten a BJ. This scene organically shows how much he loves his wife, where he not only wants to protect her physically, but also emotionally. Not only that, but in the very same scene, he caves in and tells her anyways, because he can't keep a secret from her, and he realized that hiding the pain wasn't even for her. The hurt I tried to spare was mine. 
Take some notes, Nathan Drake. Lying to your wife about adventuring again and that your brother even exists? If you're willing to lie about that, we know that you're not paying your taxes just like Yoshi. Terror Billy is also a protector and provider for not only his wife, but his posse as well. This gives us a metaphor mixture of Moses leading his temple to the promised land and Jesus and his disciples. Although I don't remember his disciples getting absolutely plastered and having premarital sex in a summary. Some other not so subtle references that indicate BJ is portraying a godly man is his frequent monologuing to a woman named Caroline, who was executed early in the game. Multiple times he calls upon her, asking her to give him her wings, or to look after him. This could be either Mother Mary or a guardian angel, but I'm betting it's meant to be Mary. Well specifically, the Mother Mary thing is more about Catholicism, but everybody knows that Protestantism and Catholicism have nothing in common. You're not an intellectual, you're a fake and a fraud. So a bit later in the game, Bilbo Baggins decides to visit his childhood home and his dad is just waiting there for him. And what's that queer outfit you're wearing? Whoa, that's like mean. You can't say that's that. That's intolerant. Say you're sorry! And tells him that he turned his Jewish wife into the Nazis. What? What the f So like any loving son, you game end your dad. Then later on, there's what would literally make him a godly man. It's BJ's literal execution and resurrection. Was it not obvious enough for you? Well, now he's literally, but still metaphorically Jesus. Also, you go to a Nazi base on Venus, which is 800 degrees, like literally all the time. Look, I didn't say the story was amazing, okay? So what was the point of this church box? It was so that I could highlight a game that may still be secular at heart, but still can contain elements of a positive male role model, not just generally, but also biblically. Close enough. Machine games turned a Doom guy type guy into a genuine human being that isn't stonewalling everyone all the time, but also has a softer side that he's not afraid to let show. Not only that, this game really goes over what it truly means to be an American, and condemns multiple views about Americanism being exclusive to just one race or gender. So I hope you like this unique church box, and let me know what you think, and also what other games do you want me to do church boxes on. I'll see you guys next time. Like and subscribe. Stay hashtag blessed.